A local theater goes back in time to live the life of an ancient people. Guerrilla Theater Productions is preparing for its 11th annual Greek show this weekend, The Trojan Women. In ancient times, Greek plays were performed outside starting at dawn. So performances of The Trojan Women will be Saturday and Sunday mornings bright and early at 7.30 in the Wheeler, Wheeler Amphitheater at Teese Park. That's at Volker and Oak right off the plaza. Well, he said... From the station that's working for you... This is Fox 4 News at 8 a.m. Well, Christy, the men of Troy are dead, and the Greeks are rounding up the women to be slaves. I'm Roberta English, and we'll have a live report from the Guerrilla Theater production of The Trojan Women. All right, well, in classical play at sunrise, just like the Greeks used to do to celebrate the summer solstice. The Guerrilla Theater produces a classic Greek play every year, and this year they're performing at the Wheeler Amphitheater on the banks of Brush Creek. And Fox 4 is Roberta English, up bright and early this morning, That's joining right. us now just for fun. I don't quite get it, but maybe you'll explain why. Why so early in the morning, Roberta? Well, you know, why not? It's beautiful out here, Joe. With me, I've got uh, Tyler Miller here. He's with Guerrilla Theater. Tell me a little bit about your group. Uh, Guerrilla Theater was established in uh, September 9th, 1989, and we're a 501 nonprofit organization. And um, we've been doing the Greek production for 11 years. We started out doing Medea by Euripides, and uh, this year you're noticing that we're doing Trojan Women by Euripides as well. We usually alternate between a comedy or a tragedy. Now this is definitely a tragedy. Tell me what this one's about. Um, imagine. The morning after uh, Troy, the final battle in which the the horse, the Trojan horse, and the Greeks came, they slaughtered all the male uh, or chased all the men away from Troy, and now they have the women, and they've been waiting for a, a good time to get on the ships and go back to Greece with all the women, which is destroying an entire culture. And these women are going to be the slaves. Exactly. And tell me, what happens in this play as the course of the play goes on? It's um, exposition in the fact that Hecuba, who is the matriarch of, or the queen of Troy, and we see it through her eyes and through the women of Troy of what pointlessness of war is about and, uh, and the extremes in which uh, two cultures will actually destroy the other culture completely. Now, you guys do a lot of your, do you make your own costumes? And tell me about the actor. The, uh, the costumes are all original. Georgiana Landre was the costumer for this piece. Pat Conway, as you're hearing right now, is the original score for this piece as well. Richard Van Cleef, the set designer, uh, set up the Periac Toys, which you see here, which will change scenery in three different times during the course of the play. All the actors that we have all work um, professionally in regards to what we do, but this is a volunteer experience for what they are putting on. And a lot of people out here, and you get a crowd like I've this every year. a crowd count of about 620, and uh, we might as well double that tomorrow. That's wonderful, and you guys are doing a great job, and you're going to be out here tomorrow, and it uh, looks like a pretty interesting play you got going on. Yeah, thank thanks, you, Roberta. Thanks a lot, Tyler. And if you guys want to come, oh, Joe wanted to know why you do it so early in the morning. Um, one, we can escape the uh, the morning heat. That's what the Wall Street Journal said last Friday. That was really interesting. Uh, but also, more importantly, that's what the Greeks did. They started actually at dawn. We're giving Kansas City a chance to have a break. We started. That's right. Dawn's a little too early for yeah. Kansas City, Joe. Actually, the play got got it got out of the way around eight o'clock. It wasn't quite sunrise, but it worked for us. I'm Roberta English, reporting live at Brush Creek. Back to you. Well, they didn't have that daylight savings time. That's in Greece true. Back then, that's anyway. right. So it all worked out in the end. Thanks, Thanks Roberta. Roberta. Bye. You can catch the Catch the Gorilla Theater's final performance of the Trojan Women tomorrow morning at 7.30 at Wheeler Amphitheater. Again, that's along the banks of Brush Creek. And the good news, it is free to everyone. That might describe the big crowds, too. What a yeah. fun thing to go out Close in the morning. Close to 1,200 people yeah. tomorrow. It's a good way. You get your day start, and then you can tackle everything else for the go rest of the Go shop on the afternoon. plaza or something there afterwards. You go. Well, here's what's Now, coming up next, we're going to check in with Roberta and see what's going out at the theater. Well, Christy, we're back inside the play, The Trojan Women, and the Greeks have come to retrieve Andromache's son so he doesn't come back and avenge the fall of Troy. Lots going on in Kansas City this weekend. Let's take a look at our Just for Fun calendar. Continues.
Well, it's a Greek tradition that starts early in the morning to celebrate the summer solstice. That's right. Let's check in with Roberta English. We learned why earlier they started out so early in the morning, and I guess they're expecting an even bigger crowd tomorrow, huh, Roberta? That's right. The Greeks always did it early in the morning, and they started out early here for Kansas City thinking it might be really hot, but it's a little chilly out here today, but it's starting to warm up. This play, The Trojan Woman, was written in 415 B.C. It's a really old play, and I've got the director of the Guerrilla Theater Productions here. Tell me a little bit about your group. Uh, Grill Theater's been around for uh, 12 years, and this is the 11th year we've been doing the Greek shows uh, at sunrise, close to it, uh, at 7.30 in the morning. We used to do it on the steps of the Nelson Atkins, but because of the construction, we've moved it here. They built this uh, amphitheater, which is much more like a traditional Greek amphitheater. Now tell me, year. what's gone on in the play so far? Okay, uh, we are about ready to uh, have... Uh, uh, the son of Andromache taken from her and thrown to his death uh, from the walls his father built. Now, the, why are they doing this? Uh, Odysseus feels that uh, she, he can't leave any male child alive to, to keep the race going because they'll be, come back in revenge. Uh, it's, they're ba Greeks basically committed genocide on the people. And Euripides wrote this uh, in response to the Greeks had just taken over an island and committed genocide there. They killed all the men and enslaved all the women. And right now these women are actually going to be enslaved. They're going to actually have to go back to Greece in yes. ships and become slaves and future wives of conquerors. Yes. And she's just about ready to find out uh, right now that her son's going to be killed. Now this is going to be going on tomorrow as well. Tell me what, so why should people should come out. 7.30 in the morning. Uh, it's free. It's a great way to start your day. Um, you come out, have a good cry, realize that your life isn't as bad as theirs. That's right. Well, that's a good way of looking at it. Thank you very much for being with us this morning. And I hope, as you can see, that there's a lot of people out here, and they expect to have twice as many people out here tomorrow. So bring your lawn chairs and your blankets and have a good time. I'm Roberta English reporting live down at the plaza. Back to you guys. Thanks, Roberta. What a great way to start the weekend. It really is. A lot of fun. And you can catch the Gorilla Theater's final performance of the Trojan Women tomorrow at 7.30 in the morning at the Wheeler Amphitheater along the banks of Brush Creek. And again, it is free to everyone. Ricky Martin, Jewel, some of the...